Have you noticed some things have changed outside lately? The sun is rising earlier and setting later in the day, giving us longer days. Have you noticed that you don't always need a jacket outside anymore? And maybe you've seen more birds or other animals coming around. These signs can only mean one thing, it's spring. Sometimes it's hard to notice the changes of spring because they happen so slowly. But if we observe carefully, we'll be able to see the changes. The days are longer as our area of the world is tilting closer to the sun. And since we have longer days, we also have warmer days. Since it's warmer, it's easier for plants to grow. Now that there's more plants growing, there's more food for animals that eat plants. Now that it's spring, animals that migrated away, hibernated, or went dormant are now active here again. We talked about how trees shed their leaves in the fall to conserve energy during the cold winter. But in the spring, they need to grow those leaves back. So the buds on these trees where there are going to be leaves growing back soon. Some trees grow flowers first and then leaves, like on this apricot tree. Evergreen trees that have been green all winter long sometimes grow new needles in the spring. Some plants try to get their flowers out as early as possible, like these purple henbit flowers I found near the sidewalk. You probably know that some mammals, like bears, hibernate during the winter. But what about other mammals in our neighborhood? Well, rabbits don't hibernate, but they stay in their burrows a lot of the time and come out when it's warm to eat. Coyotes and foxes grow thick fur in the winter to keep warm. They have babies in the spring when there's more food around. Some birds that normally live up north where it's cold come to Albuquerque for the winter because it's warmer, like Canada geese and sandhill cranes. Now that the weather's getting warmer, those birds will be leaving Albuquerque to head up north. Robins don't usually migrate far, but in the spring you can see them hopping around looking for worms or sticks to build their nests where they lay bright blue eggs. Reptiles like snakes and lizards lie dormant under rocks or in caves during the winter. And when the warm spring sun comes out, they come out to look for food and lay eggs. Frogs hibernate under rocks or leaves. Sometimes the frogs even freeze solid, but when spring comes, they thaw out and they are still alive. Now what about bugs? They have lots of different ways to survive the winter. Some bugs, like spiders and praying mantises, lay their eggs in the fall and then they die. But in the spring, their eggs hatch and there's more of them. You can see there's a praying mantis egg case right here. Inside of that will hatch out lots of baby praying mantises. Ladybugs aggregate together and hibernate in the winter at the tops of mountains, waking up in the spring for the wind to carry them down so they can live and lay eggs in new places. Bees also huddle up together, but in a hive. Scorpions and vinegaroons find a cozy place under a log or a rock, and they will stay there all winter until it warms up in the spring. Pill bugs and millipedes also like to hide the winter under rocks, like these ones I found in my backyard. I think it's amazing how all these living things have found different ways to survive the cold weather of winter. And I love that we get to welcome them back now that it's spring. For your STEM activity today, I want you to go outside and see what signs of spring you can find. You might need to look closely at trees or bushes or under rocks or look at the dirt and see what living things you can find. Take a picture or draw a picture of what you find and share it with your class. I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep observing.